Sunny day here in Thailand. Sukhumvit Road. Very heavy traffic here in Sukhumvit Road. Very heavy. Nice sunny day. But very heavy. Going to a supermarket. Buy some groceries. Lumber store, something like that. Oh, no, no. Not lumber, sort of like design woodwork. Oh, no. That is. There seems to be road construction in Thailand everywhere. As if traffic, as if bad traffic needed any more help. This is going to the store. 15 minutes away makes it like um, makes it like 30 minutes. We're going here to Macro, the biggest grocery store in Thailand. Actually, I should say the biggest food store in Pattaya. Now, I don't know if it is in Thailand the biggest, but at least in Pattaya, Jomtian area. You can see if it rains most likely you're not going to get wet because your car is covered and you are covered as you walk. The sound before was me clowning around. I'm sorry. Okay, it's white bread, 39 baht. So a dollar 40. It's more like a dollar 25. Wheat bread. It's a dollar 50. Say these are pretty good prices for bread. These compared to the US prices. As you can see, this is a bakery area. You can find all the bread and pastries and so on. This is a veggies area, all kinds of vegetables here. Pretty big, pretty big size area, all kinds of vegetables. I've seen vegetables imported from Vietnam, Japan for sure, some items from uh, Singapore, and I think I've seen fruits from Germany or Australia as well. You probably will find many of the, of the items that you used to use uh, in your own country before you moved to Thailand, here, this place, Macro. Any good tomatoes? Some more bags. These oranges are green. You see them green, but they're very sweet. Real, real sweet. Sweeter than this. Apples back, $1.29, but $3. Keep in mind, it is 35 baht to 1 US dollar. So if you use dollar, it's good foreigners here. Your seafood area here. Seafood, seafood. I've never seen a seafood area like this before. 
I'm used to classical DJs and Walmart in the United States. I've never seen anything like this. But these are like catfish, I think. Or mackerel, this is mackerel. These are mackerel. These are catfish. These are, uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can get a mackerel. Get a few mackerels here. My mom said she doesn't like mackerel, so I couldn't buy mackerel. You can get your own fresh fish from here. Squid, calamari, shrimp right there. But these these babies, lives. these babies are big live shrimps. I mean, amazing. Is it gonna be soup? Look at these lines. Right here. And this we don't see in the West. It's certainly not Kmart or Costco or any place like that. Like these are, you can see the prices here. These, for instance, the prices. Are it's a tilapia, 80 baht per kilo. 120 baht per kilo. This same thing. Here, 170 and so on. And here, more shrimp. There's a lot more shrimp here. Different sizes, different prices. So these are as fresh as you can get them, I think. Giant shrimps. So we got two, one and two. Sea bass. Either they cut it here or we cut it home. What do you want? Cut it, of course. No, Lone, cut it here. We took one of these to see what it tastes like. I'm going to fry it or steam it. And we took one of these. These are way longer. Peace. Golden white sea bass. They're cleaning it for us. Put two pieces of salmon. In terms of prices, this is um, about 357 baht, which is um, about a little more than three dollars. But two can eat from it. Two can eat from this from this steak. Cut it in half, any which way you want, and two can eat from this. And what another piece similar to that one? This is 360. Same thing. Um, a little more than three dollars. I mean, then, then a little over six dollars. No, I'm 
I'm lying to you. It's um less than ten, a little more than than the nine dollars. A little more than nine dollars, three hundred sixty. And three sixty is a little more than ten dollars. But again, two can eat from it. Not super expensive. Um, U.S. I think um, I buy it um, cheaper, but we're not in U.S. This is not the normal food that you would buy um, in Thailand. From yogurt, um, this product is from Australia. Salmon, I'm sure you find out where it is from, but the salmon is from, from Thailand. I thought it'd be cheaper, but no. Um, yep. Confirm. One thing I can't find here is hot dogs, uh, Nathan. Nathan had those. I'd like to just have one Nathan. Many hot dogs. But I don't really trust the brands here because I don't know them. Or even in the United States, I trust Ballpark and Nathan. Can't find it here. The butter section. It's all butter. Sausages, hot dogs. It's the chicken section. Many locals buy here because they can supply themselves with uh, whatever they need as far as meat goes. Uh, unlike uh, Lotus or Big C. All chicken breast here. Very nice and clean. Chicken, 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 chicken. chicken. Now this side is all pork, except for a small section of beef. Pork. This is all pork on this side. Belly, all sizes. All pork here. Here, a small section of beef, but mostly frozen. The Angus, steaks. Ground beef here. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of ground beef for some burgers. And here is uh, shank, shank, brisket, all beef. Give you an idea of the prices. The prices. This is fifteen dollars, twelve cents. Heineken prices, Heineken, base 6, 9, 12, and here, I think good prices, brand of 20, 
5 liters, 4 cases. I think the cheapest beer right now in the U.S. is Bud Light. Just to give you an idea. These are all beers. Chang, local beer. I think this is Philippines, some Sam, San Miguel, I think. Tiger, I think, is from here also. I'm not drinking, so I'm not very familiar lately. But I know this is Amsterdam Heineken. I think Leo is also Thailand. I'm not sure. Check. I'm gonna go small milk. Are the uh, DX. Uh, it's a 30X and one what? One hundred thirty-eight. That's really, really long. This, this is number two X. Okay, so these are number two, not not small ones. And one thirty-eight is, um, I'll say, slightly less than four dollars. The 30x. X are very cheap here, in my opinion. I'm gonna see if I can find a brownie. A little brownie for me. Not enough for me, for me and her. But I like chocolate more than she does. Got 17, 18 cashiers. Just here, 17. And I like some places that I know there are not many empty. Some supermarkets where I come from, people are getting paid, but many are just walking around doing nothing including many so-called supervisors. Yeah, I got your little Pringles here. Little salty Pringles. Oh, add on macro. Yep, from sunny, looks like cloudy. Like that cloud is gonna create some nice rains. Good. Leaving macro now. I help, but we'll get faster. 
Heading home now. Done with the shopping. Oh, you want to go to Big C? You want to go eat Big C? We like cheap food, so we may go to Big C to eat. Maybe I said Ah, okay. She won two thousand baht, <laughs> uh, about sixty. Well, less than about sixty dollars, and uh, she wants to um, get her cash. So we hope that a Big C. This is another big supermarket here in. Uh, in Thailand, Lot Lotus. I think I said that in another, in another video when we were in Goya. This is another big one, and the other one is the one we're going to, which is Big C. These are the ones that people, everybody uses for shopping. But as I said, um, Macro is the, the biggest one because even the locals can buy the chickens, the pork, and a lot of stuff in bulk, bulk, big amounts, you know. Um, that they cannot get it in Big C or Lotus, because they call it Lotat. Hopefully traffic will be uh, easier uh, going back. Even though thinking, of, you know, it wasn't that, it wasn't that hard, it wasn't that bad. But sometimes it gets really, really bad in this famous Thailand U-turns. Pretty much any place you go here, in the main road, you have to make a U-turn. You can say drive on the left. I attribute it to the fact that they drive on the left or the engineering that they, you know, done. Because uh, places that, you know, that you drive on the right, they don't have the issues of the U-turn all the time. If anyone wonders why I don't drive, I would like to, but I don't have my ID yet trying to get it. The funny thing is that <laughs> back road from where we live and jump the end, taking the Sukhumvit road, you're going to see macro first on the left and then three minutes later driving right on the left, you're going to see Lotus and then three minutes later uh, driving on, you know, on, on your left, you're going to see Big C. Here comes Pixie. Actually, really, less than three minutes. Jory, is Jory in there? I know the, ca the camera cut it, but I didn't. Her lottery ticket. She even had to take a hat off so they could take a picture of her in order to give her her money. Here in Thailand, the uh, grocery markets, big grocery markets, work like uh, Walmart. They also include a lot of uh, items uh, like shoes, uh, clothing items not just groceries uh, but in here it's even more <clears throat> they got um, <clears throat> restaurants inside many different kinds of foods and they mix the donuts
KFC. MK restaurant MK. You got simply delicious there. And you can buy gold here. Right from the spot, right here. You can buy gold. Right there. Buy all the gold you want. Really, honest. Right from the counter like that. Right from the hallway. Yappy, Yappy restaurant. You got Santa Fe restaurant. You got more gold here. More clothing items here. You got inside. You have um, two. How many bags you got here? Three bags, huh? Three bags. You got your bank, the government bank, and Bangkok bank, right? Three banks in this supermarket. Men's clothes here, shirts. We got girls here. The beauty place here. Cheap glasses here. Now be careful with cheap glasses because you buy cheap and they break as cheap as they are. I know I'm telling you from experience, I bought a blue pair and already scratched and can't fix it. It costs $4, but it didn't last more than a month. So it's not worth buying really cheap. So we're gonna eat cheap. This is what Long Chow's chose to eat. This um, it's like soup, noodles, beef noodles, 60 baht. Um, I say dollar, dollar ninety something like that. In that, it's a 35 baht for one dollar. So, yeah. The way it works with Big C when you're gonna work, when you're gonna eat here, is you you buy a card um, for 300 baht or 400 or 500, and you go inside and you tell the person who's gonna serve you, you give them, you give them the card and pay whatever, and so they deduct from the card um, whatever the uh, the food is worth. And so if you have money left, you come to the window and whatever you bought it, and they give you. The money back, the balance. Hey, Long. Very good, Long, today. I didn't like any of the food that I saw today. I was not attracted to the food that they were having there. But any day you can you can eat here for. $2 or less any day at Big C at the Big C restaurant. Coming back to say no construction. <laughs> No. 
there for a week and it's he has a pole that goes around inside all the buildings he does have or he does include a 7-eleven within the buildings Go, goes around and on the left is the same building huge complex very nice there's the Riviera over there doesn't see the space she has right next to me. <laughs> she was looking to the left. Did not see the space she has right there. The park on the right. <laughs> what happened, Did not see. But she's a good driver. Yeah.